Okay, okay, okay. Before you go all full send, let's discover what happens to our bodies when we drink alcohol from getting drunk to alcohol poisoning. Coming up next. First, how does alcohol get into your blood? After taking a sip, a small amount immediately moves into the blood via the small blood vessels in your mouth that are under the tongue. After the alcohol is swallowed, 20% passes through into the blood from the stomach and the remaining 75 to 85% of alcohol is absorbed through the small intestines. Things really start to get interesting after the alcohol makes its way into your bloodstream. Alcohol is very quickly moved around all parts of the body and the alcohol stays circulating in the blood until the liver is able to break it down. The liver filters the blood and breaks down 80 to 90% of the alcohol with the help of enzymes to water, carbon dioxide, and other units for energy for the body. Oh, but the liver can only break down about one drink per hour. So if you drink greater than one drink per hour, the alcohol starts to accumulate in your system. But before you start to experience the feeling of being drunk, your body has a few more tricks up its sleeve to prevent this. And one of these is your kidneys, which can excrete 10% of the alcohol that you drink. Also, you have your skin and your lungs, which can excrete 8% of the alcohol that you drink. And this is why police officers can use breathalyzers with such accuracy. I, I. Okay, now that we know how alcohol gets from your delicious cocktail into your blood, let's go over the stages of being drunk from a glass of wine with dinner all the way to alcohol poisoning. Everybody is affected by alcohol a little differently, so these are just general ranges that are going to depend on your drinking history, your sex, weight, and more. There are five stages of alcohol intoxication. Stage one, a drink with dinner. In stage one, you should feel like your normal self after having no more than a half to one drink over the span of an hour. At this level, if you're drinking a glass of red wine, this is where you'll see those coveted health benefits that you've heard about over the years. Your blood alcohol content will likely be 0.01 to 0.05% at this point. After this point, the health benefits of alcohol end and things start to get a little bit weird. Next, we have stage two, tipsy. After having had two to three drinks for a man or one to two drinks for a woman, over the span of an hour, you will enter the stage called being tipsy. You might start to feel more confident and chatty. You will also start to have a slower reaction time and lowered inhibitions. Your blood alcohol content when tipsy will be between 0.03 and 0.12%. So at this stage, it will become illegal to drive in the United States. So make sure to get an Uber. If you keep on drinking, you will blast right through tipsy and straight into stage three, drunk. At this stage, a man might have consumed three to five drinks and a woman two to four drinks in an hour. You might become emotionally unstable and easily get excited or saddened. You might lose your coordination and you have trouble making judgment calls and remembering things. <laughs> you might have blurry vision, lose your balance. You may also feel tired and out of it. At this stage, there is no doubt you're officially drunk. Your blood alcohol content will be between 0.09 and 0.25%. And getting behind the wheel of a car starts to be very similar to giving a toddler a loaded gun. Don't do it. Next, you have stage four, which I like to call absolutely wasted. Or if you prefer, you can use the technical term, shit face. <laughs> Consuming more than five drinks an hour for a man or four drinks per hour for a woman can lead to you being absolutely wasted. You might have emotional outbursts and a major loss of coordination. It might be hard to stand and walk. You may be very confused about what's going on. You might black out without losing consciousness. 
or fade in and out of consciousness, you may not be able to feel pain and know you're not a superhero. No matter what you think, you're just an increased risk for injuring yourself. And by this point, your blood alcohol content is 0.18 to 0.3%. Bartenders and servers at restaurants will be definitely cutting you off at this point, and this is where your fun should end if you've allowed it to get this far in the first place, because from here on out, things start getting dangerous. Stage five, or alcohol poisoning, also known as a drunken stupor. At this stage, you will no longer respond to what's happening around or to you. You won't be able to stand or walk. You may also pass out or lose control of your body functions. You may have seizures and have a blue or pale skin color. You will not be able to breathe normally and your gag reflex won't work correctly. This can be dangerous, even fatal, if you choke on your vomit or become critically injured. These are signs that you need immediate medical attention. At this point in time, your blood alcohol content will be at the dangerous level of between 0.25 and 0.45%. And at this level of blood alcohol content, you should definitely keep a close eye on those you care about because death is higher possibility at this level. The CDC states that 88,000 people die from alcohol poisoning every single year. So keep an eye out for your friends to make sure they're not having any trouble breathing or if they vomit, that they're on their side so they don't have choke to death on their own daggum vomit. So there you have it. All five stages of intoxication. If you enjoyed this content, and would like to see more of it, hit that subscribe button. Because for every new subscriber the channel gets, a loving friend will decide to be the designated driver for an evening out on the town. Also tap that thumbs up button because the YouTube algorithm loves it and it feels oh so good.